Hey y'all, just trying to give you guys a quick update of our racing program. We have struggled last year with our program. Um, mostly mine, David's was pretty awesome, but my program was a little sad. We've had a lot of issues, um, mostly with something we've done and um, it was a struggle on trying to figure out what it is, but we're in the process of trying to fix that now. So just kind of give you, we're gonna kind of give you a little rundown about what's happening with my truck. We're, we are doing more changes. David's been out here working and trying to get everything straightened out for me, but um, let's kind of go over the truck and see what we've got. If you wanna come over here, we have our 7675 Precision Turbos, twins. But this is something new to our program because we had bigger ones on here. Um, and we have decided to go with these because they are very efficient. We really like the way they work. So we are gonna try them out and see how well they work on my truck. Um, I have an extended cab, which David's is a single cab, but these are the same that he has on his and they work very well. So I'm hoping to go make some good passes with it. The only difference is mine to her truck, we bought stainless steel housings mm -hmm. and I have cast iron housings on mine, but everything else is pretty much, we're setting both trucks up to do mm -hmm. just the same as my blue trucks. Yeah. And you're gonna have to excuse the dust. There's a big mess. Everything, there's a big mess because we are working on it currently. And so we haven't touched it on cleaning or anything like that. But but as you can see, we have a big old mess in here. Uh, it's wiring's a mess because that's what we're doing is we are trying to rewire everything. So we've got everything scattered out and trying to get it all fixed and ready to go because racing season's coming up. It is coming up a lot quicker than uh, I was hoping, but it is, it's coming up fast. And so in order to get out there, we've got a little bit more work to do. As you can so. see, there, there is quite a bit of mess, but I'll get all this straightened out. And yeah. there's a lot of sensors and there's a lot of inputs and outputs with the computer that we control and things that are just automatically controlled with yeah. time or RPM, things like that. That's what all these inputs and outputs are for. I gotta get all that straightened out, but we, uh, like Tina said, we, we went with a, a little bit smaller motor than what's in mine. This is a stock block, stock crank, good rods and pistons, 370 inch built by Carters. They yes. do our stuff. We had the big block in here um last year and so we took it out and went back to the old trusty the old ls so we're hoping to make some big power we're hoping to make um some good passes and hopefully win a lot of races with this setup and um, it hasn't failed us before so go back to what we know we uh tina hasn't told you guys but we pulled the big block out and the turbos out of here we've been working on a new project and something that you guys will be surprised on what it is and what we're building. But the big block will go in there and the 2088s will go in there. Yeah. We're gonna put a pair of precisions in there. Um, it, it'll be something that will eventually let the cat out of the bag eventually. We've been working on this for probably about a little over a year of just trying to get decide what we want. We finally decided what we want. We bought all that, then we changed everything up and then we started over. <laughs> so we've got a lot of ideas of what we want and how we want it done. And so there are um, some changes that, yeah, will be definitely different. But once we get it up and somewhat running, we will start showing the build on it. And so you guys will be in the know of the progress of that once we get it going. But it's just not at the point where I want to start filming just yet for that. So, so let's, we'll just still be focusing on this truck. Hopefully get it running here pretty soon. 
and start making some passes. I didn't get to race much last year, so I'm ready. I'm ready to go racing. So as you guys know, you've probably seen, um, Tina does have a YouTube channel. Yep. And we're gonna start really pushing that and doing a lot of videos. Yep. I think uh, I've got Tina talked into it. She's really- <laughs> We'll start doing more. Well, we are gonna start showing a little bit more of what we do other than just racing, cause it's not all we do. You know, I have two kids, they're always into stuff, plus being a wife and a mom, trying to get everything done in a day's time, which is hard to do some days. It but, is, I'll be at the track getting set up and ready for her to make passes and she's still at a- Softball parent, game across town. Or a parent-teacher <laughs> conference. And I'm yes, like, hurry up, come on, Tina, where are you at? We gotta go, they're calling <laughs> us up for first time trial. Like we, we go through some pretty crazy stuff. Yeah, there's always something going all the time. So we just need to get busy getting this started and and ready to go so our busy life can be a little bit more busy. So make sure you guys tune into my YouTube channel. It's Tina Pierce. Just get on there, click the subscribe button for us, please. And then uh, we'll make sure we get some more videos up and running. Thank y'all.